Hi friends, welcome to a new week. Um, last week you should have finished your research journal. You should have had like five to seven articles in your research journal that you read and took notes on and highlighted and annotated. Um, those articles that you have in your research journal are going to help you a lot when you're writing your paper and when you're writing your speech. So remember that you are on one side of your topic when you're writing your paper and then you're going to be switching sides when you start writing your speech. So you need to have enough research so that you can write both your paper and your speech. Um, so for this week, um, I want you to make sure that you've looked at this example persuasive paper. Um, this will show you kind of like what your paper should look like. Notice that the introduction paragraph is pretty much a page long just in itself. Um, so, you know, just look through this paper and make sure that you understand what your paper should look like. Um, if you have any questions about this paper, let me know. There's also a video in there so you can kind of see what I had to say about this example. But this one's really well done so you can kind of see what yours will look like when you're done. Then I want you to work on filling out this paper outline. This outline is due by Friday and it basically just outlines here's all the things that I need to have in my paper. Um, when you fill this out, you'll notice it asks for very specific things in each section. So um, this will help you when you're done. You will just be able to take information from this outline and put it in a new document so that you're writing your actual paper. Um, so hopefully this helps you. It shows you exactly what you need in this ultimate research persuasive paper. So um, work on filling that out and turning it in on Friday. Um, I want you to note that on Wednesday, there's this little lesson on how to cite your research in your paper. When you click on this link right here, it takes you to this document. Um, you really do need to cite your research so that you know where your information came from. Otherwise, you're basically plagiar plagiarizing if you're not saying this is where my information comes from. So these templates will show you how to um, cite your sources. And there's a video in here so you can watch how to do it here too. Just so you know, though, um, the one thing that you definitely need to have is parenthetical citations, where you just put in parentheses, after you use research in your paper, you put the author's last name or whatever comes first in the MLA citation. So the author last name or the title of whatever the article is. If you do just this part, that will be sufficient. You are supposed to know how to use these um, uh, templates for like citing your sources properly. Um, these are credibility statements that I really want you to understand how to use in your paper. However, um, because we're not in class and it's a lot harder um, to do all this on your own and figure out how to do this on your own, I'm going to require that you just do the parentheses that show where you got your research in your paper. And if you don't do these um, templates for credibility statements, that will be okay. Okay, so if you just focus on parentheses, author last name, or parentheses, article title in your paper to show where you got all your research from. So every time you use research in your paper, you just have to say where you got it using the little parentheses that looks just like this for author last name, or if there's not an author last name, just like this for the article title. That will be enough. So if you just want to avoid all these templates up here and just do this because that's what's working well for you and that's what you need, that is okay. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, I don't wanna overwhelm you. I just want you to be able to write a really good research paper. So I hope that helps. If you're confused about that, let me know and I will explain it to you further and, and make sure we're on the same page. Mainly, you wanna make sure that you get your paper outline completed this week and turned in by Friday and then we'll work on more of actually writing and putting together your paper next week. So. I hope this helps. I hope you have a really great week. Let me know what you need. Um, try not to procrastinate. Let's stay motivated because Christmas break is coming. The end of the semester will be here before we know it. So talk to you soon. Thank you.